Hello everybody, what's going on? Jerome here, and today I have for you guys a new Minecraft showcase, and this one is awesome. This one's basically a new kind of Hunger Games map, and I know that they've been overdone before, but just hear me out, this is probably one of the cooler ones that I've ever seen, and it is basically an ancient version of Rome that you get to fight in. It has all of this and the surrounding areas, which is mostly wilderness, but there are a few cool things out there. I won't show you all of them because I want to keep some secret, but I'll definitely drop a hint on one or two of them. And the rest of it is just honestly a really awesome thing that he did. So let me show you guys some of the cooler things in it. So first off, the spawning area is in this red domed building over here. It's just like any other spawn. Hold on, let me go fly over there. And in the meantime, you can check it out. A lot of the architecture is made out of sand and sandstone, so it's pretty cool like that. But uh, yeah, the other cool feature that I like the most though is that a lot of people always complain that all the chests have overpowered weapons, underpowered weapons, no one really gets to a general consensus. Well the guy put chests all around the map, but he left them all empty so that you guys can put your own weapons in there and perhaps even like organize the game exactly how you want it, kind of like your dream game of Hunger Games. So I thought that was pretty cool. And they also have a lot of chests pretty much located all over the place, so instead of making it super difficult to get like some easy items in the middle, you can kind of spread it out make the really hard items to get in the middle, like the, the good ones like diamond, and you can make easier ones such as wooden or stone objects in different chests scattered throughout all the various houses. So that's just a different idea that you can do, and it's also going to be really cool if you do it as well. Another cool feature is the different types of like historical architecture you can find. You can find the Colosseum here. I'm not positive, but I think this is supposed to be the Roman Forum, another famous uh, building in Rome. And there's a few other cool features, such as the aqueduct system. If you don't know what that is, an aqueduct is basically when a water supply is brought up from like a mountainside and brought all the way downstream to like a major city or whatever. Well, this is basically what he did here. And although it wouldn't be as simple, really, as a little tiny hill like this, it's still the concept that counts. It's kind of the same exact thing. There'd be a mountain, and they'd hook, hook it up to the mountain, and it would bring all the water back, and that was the water supply for Rome back then. So even though obviously it wouldn't be like this, it'd be much taller and yada yada yada, I still think it's awesome that he did that. I think that's a really cool thing for him to do. Uh, another cool feature that they have overall, I think, is just the mass amount of houses, things like that. I think the fact that he puts so many different houses in town markets makes it really unique, because unlike a lot of other maps, there's really not much playable area. Like, they'll put down, like, a house, but it's hollowed out, or other things like that for Hunger Games. This guy, like, went full out. Like, look, he's got houses with wheat farms on top. He's got different types of, look at this, an army barracks. So he's got a lot of cool features here. There's different types of uh, things, you know, look up chests in here. So really, I think even if you wanted to wall off the city and make it so no one could go outside the city, the game would last forever. I think you could have a great game going on, and I don't think there'd be any trouble at all. But in case you're worried about that, and you don't want a game to last that long, or anything like that, you can allow, or you want it to last longer, I'm sorry, you can allow people to go outside the map, in which case you have different things, such as the ships right here, which are a really cool addition that he added those into the uh, recent shoreline. And, now this is the only kind of thing outside the map that I really want to give a hint to, because once again, I don't like to give everything away, I want to make it special for you guys. Oh yeah, and by the way, they have guard tower, things like that. But, the other cool thing they have are different little structures placed throughout the map, as you can tell right here in the wilderness. And it's just your average day tower, but it does have a nice little chest in there, and being it's so out of the way, I would suggest putting some kind of a heavier item in there. But, uh, yeah. So anyway, guys, this is basically the new Rome Minecraft Hunger Games map in a nutshell. I hope you guys enjoyed. If you did, be sure to subscribe. I do content like this all the time. I'd love to have you guys aboard. And as for everyone else, show this video a little love if you like the new map. And go check it out. The link is always in the description. Good night, everyone.